Welcome to this bonus episode of the Food Fight Podcast from EIT Food. In these episodes, we want to shine a light on new projects and agri-food startups and hear about their efforts to fight for a better food future. This week, we're handing over to Anna Rascon to tell us about Gluconova, a startup developing nutritious and sustainable liquid foods from oats. Hello there, my name is uh, Ana Rascón and I am the CEO at uh, Glucanova in Lund, Sweden. We are part of the EIT group called Raising Food Stars and we are fighting for the future of food because uh, we have uh, some challenges in the world related with uh, sustainability and uh, availability of food for all of us that is nutritionally sound. At Glucanova, we do nutritious, tasty, convenient, and sustainable food concepts. For doing this, we use whole food products that gives the nutrition and they are combined in a smart way. And of course, for us, it's also very important to have high fiber products because it's one of the most uh, lacked food component in our diets today. So, and more specifically talking, we produce functional foods. They are foods that beverage that include an additional function over the obvious one of giving basic nutrition and energy. Our developing location is a laboratory. So it's like kind of a specialized kitchen. It's not only to mix this with that. We have a special technology that we have already patented for making high fiber liquid oat products. And this is the base of our company. And of course, this is just a basic and old fashioned science at the service of the food industry. One example would be foods that they are nutrition and fiber rich for the elder population and the breakfast concept that will be able to control the glycemic response or the glucose response to a food during the whole day, not only in the meal that you are consuming, but the whole day. The benefits of whatever we make for us, they are very obvious, but maybe I should define them. Because as I say, we are very interested on in nutritious food. And when I mean nutritious, this is a very important word because we have foods that they will give us the right amount of carbohydrates, lipids and protein, and maybe vitamins and minerals, but there are so many other components in whatever we need to consume that they are needed and they are not taken into account. So if you use the whole food for making the final, you will get a lot of it. And of course, there is another thing that is very important to consider that the product is tasty. Because if it doesn't taste good, even if you promise eternal life, if you consume your food, nobody will because nobody likes something that is not tasty. And there is another very important point that this has to be convenient because we have our hectic lives and we want something that maybe we can just heat or uh, do minimal work before we consume it. And of course, last but not least, it has to be sustainable. And we check all these four squares in whatever we want to do. We are in the Rising Food Star group since the beginning. And as a Rising Food Star, we have won a lot of contacts, relationship with other small companies and big actors that sometimes gave us a lot of to think about. We have projects of uh, developing new technologies. We are running now one that is related to the use of ultra high pressure and see how it works in our products. And yeah, it has been very good for us, so to say. 
He hopes to reach the public as soon as possible, of course, and inspire also with our products, and we hope to be successful. And uh, this will sound a little bit weird, but we like a lot of competitors in the future because that will mean that we will have kick a tendency to get better food products. And I know that you're the young generation is looking forward for this kind of products and they are extremely open to new products and uh, that they are honest. And uh, for example, in the, we have seen the, in many areas of technology that we have an incredible advancement. So in the computer tech and IT and uh, go to the moon and probably for the afternoon and things like that in the future. But I remember reading Dick Tracy comics and I would be amazed of uh, the hand-raised communicator and never guess that I will own in my lifetime one. So I would like to see this uh, creativity and advancement in the food sector because I know it is possible. So what we are eating today with a very few remarkable exceptions is the same commercially produced food that is, has been uh, there for probably a hundred years. So this is our hope for the future. And uh, food shouldn't be just a source of energy. It should be nutrition. Thanks for listening to this bonus episode of the Food Fight Podcast. To find out more and to learn how you can get involved in the fight for a better food future, head over to eitfood.eu forward slash podcast and join the conversation via hashtag eitfoodfight on our Twitter channel at eitfood. For more information on Gluconova, head over to gluconova.com. Gluconova.